Hello and welcome to In The Lab, except of course we're not in the lab, we are outside. I am the beardless Mr Walker and this is my guest presenter. Hello, my name is Hannah Bramwell, I'm in year nine winter. So, beardless Hannah as well, of no. course. Yes, you were going to say no. I am. That's, that's true. Uh, now the important thing is not whether we have beards or not, the important thing is what are we going to do today? Now you might have noticed that we have got four lemonades here and we also have some Mentos. Now I'm sure you can guess what we're going to do. That is why we're not in the lab. That's why we're outside. Classically the experiment will take place with Coke or specifically Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi and Mentos. But we haven't got that. We have got lemonade instead. Is it going to react more? Is it going to react less? And why does it do what it does? We'll find out today. So what do you think Hannah? I'm sure you've seen the videos. Describe what you think is going to happen. I'm going to say these three are going to react similarly whereas this one because it's Diet Coke it's going to do more of a reaction as Diet Coke would compared to normal Coke. Aha! Well we'll see if your prediction is correct. I'm going to do the first one. First of all let's open the lemonade. You're stepping back already. I think that's wise. Oh, there's a nice bit of fizz in there. That's a good start. We can see it is carbonated. Now, I'm going to see how many I can get in before it starts to come out. Ideally, it's good to get them in a row so they will slide in quickly. They might not. I might get wet. Ah, it's science. Let's find out what happens. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, a nice little fountain. That was not as exciting as Pepsi, possibly because either the lemonade is older, which it is, or because it's got to be Pepsi and the components of Pepsi make it happen. But you know what, I think we should try that again. Hannah, would you like to do the honours of number two? So welcome to the lemonade pond. It's now getting nice and uh, watery or lemonadey. We're going to have a go at the very last one. You might have noticed I got in about five. Hannah managed to get in six. And I think it was slightly bigger. We are now going to try and get in as many as possible. So let's see just how many we can get in. I've got a big, a big handful. Yes, yeah, step away just in case. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Slightly bigger. That was slightly bigger because I got in, and it's still going now, in fact, a little bit. I well, got in there. Everywhere. I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight was more impressive. But we need to find out what happens. I got one in the lid, thank you. And it's floating in the lemonade lake. We're going to find out what happens if we use diet lemonade. Is it going to be better or worse? Let's see. We still have I'm a number left. Better, personally, that's my you question. think better? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Let's open it. Oh, not much of a pss, but that's okay, that's okay. Ready, Hannah? Ready to get wet? I'm okay, here wet. goes. As many as we can, as many as we can. Oh, I've got loads in there. Nothing's happening. Nothing oh. whatsoever. It's definitely uh, more bubbly yeah. inside, just nothing's happening. Do you know what? It will release all the fizz, hmm. but just at a much, much slower rate. Because you can see down here, we have got quite a lot of bubbles coming up, just like all the rest are still bubbling all along the row. We've just got the bubbles happening a lot slower. Well, you are not correct in your prediction. I thought the same as you, yeah. but it didn't actually quite work. It might just like be older. That. I have less carbon. It could be because it's older. Or maybe there's something in the Diet Coke or the Diet Pepsi, maybe one of the acids or the other components that is also very important for getting it going. The question is, why does it work, Hannah? Why does this cause a huge amount of fizz? Any idea? Uh, maybe, I don't know whether this is right, but yep. you know how you do the, the vinegar and bicarbonate soda? Ooh. The stuff along that, obviously Mentos mm. haven't got vinegar in, and I'm not sure if lemonade has vinegar in. Uh -huh. Coke might, that's why it might work better, but I think they might have some carbonate soda sort of stuff within it. So you think it's a chemical reaction between an acid and an alkali, and it's releasing a huge amount of carbon dioxide, which it would. 
That's not the answer. Very good try. It would be, there is acid, there's citric acid in these and there's phosphoric acid in coke. So if we poured an alkali into there, there would be a reaction, there would be a fizz. Not as impressive as this though. It's a physical reaction rather than a chemical one. Now even if you come right in and you have a look at this, you can't see that the surface is covered in hundreds and thousands of tiny little pits. Tiny little dimples like a golf ball. They are called nucleation points. And crystals will only form when you have a nucleation point, a little groove to allow the chemicals to start forming a regular structure and you get a crystal formed at that point. Snowflakes are quite similar, they need something to start off the process for a snowflake to grow and just like that we need a point for the bubbles, the tiny little bubbles you can't even see to start to coalesce on and it's those pits, that nucleation point all over here that starts the process and when the bubbles are big enough there are loads of them all around each of the mentos and all the bubbles come off because they're coalescing really really quickly so that's what's happening when you put mentos in if you use a mento with a different color surface it might not have the pits in and it doesn't work as well that's why white ones work really well why it works differently for different types of sodas we're not quite sure but it's all down to those nucleation points Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time from me and Beardless Hannah. Time to get rid of the evidence. Get rid of all of that. No one's ever going to know. Remember to like and subscribe for In The Lab. Remember to like and subscribe for more varied scientific content. Like and subscribe to In The Lab.